All right, so this is the uh, third page of the key. Uh, I'll do one of these knots. Um, so the basic idea of these things is they, they look a lot more complicated, but they're, they're really not. It's another example of simple ideas conspiring to create complexity. You can kind of see it here on the end. So there aren't really two strands here. I mean, there are, of course. But they're really part of one strand that has been subdivided. So the idea being that uh, we have a single set of strands like this that you can subdivide these uh, into pieces, right? Uh, and then match your overs and unders. So you just have to sort out these intersections. And uh, then every single intersection you used to have now is four intersections. In fact, if you look back at this knot, you see these uh, break lines, right? Well, look what we have here. It's the same situation. That is, if you were to follow the middle of this, right? There's that piece, that link. What do we have over here? Same things, the same two links. This knot, H, is the same thing, sorry for the blurriness, as E. Uh, and I don't know if I did I the same way. Um, I don't think there's an I. Uh, not quite. This isn't quite the same. Um, but again, this one you can you can you can just trace and see what the uh, the strands would be, and then you can think about all right. Well, where would my circles be? All right, so there are some hollow circles, some hollow circles. If I have four hollow circles, that must correspond to three solid circles. So this is going to be a three by something. How many is it going to be? Well, this flatness down here, that's artistic effect. How do I know? Well, in between this column of these black dots, I'm going to have some more uh, solid dots here. There are my, sorry, hollow dots here. Um, just in between the, the break lines. So there's my three dots. So what do we have here? Um, we have a line here, a line here, a line here. One, two, three, four. This is a three by four. And there are some break lines. So let's sketch this out, what the uh, grid would look at, look like. Remember, it's the grids that are the answers. And so let's go ahead and put on the primary grid. Those are the dots in the centers of the squares. Those uh, mathematically are identical to the sona. Now I'm drawing the uh, secondary grid here. That's there to guide us in cre into creating this uh, design. Now what do I have? Um, looks like, right, so these are, these would be the solid black dots. So it looks like I have a break line right here. And then um, up between these um, black dots, and then down here, and then one over, uh, one over here as well. So those would be the four break lines that create that circle in the center. And then the the double stranding is just uh, it's just artistic effect. So that's those. Now, what about this sort of stuff? Well, as I said in class, you know, the idea is really to continue these lines. So, if you continue all of these lines, what do you end up seeing? Because presumably they were continued, but they've just been erased. So, uh, what was there before it was erased? Ah, well, it's some overlapping squares inside of an octagon. 
So that's something that you ought to be able to create. So if I start off with a line uh, and I make um, all right, a circle. All right. Now I need to subdivide my circle into four pieces. So perpendicular bisectors. like that. Now my circle is divided into four pieces. I just need to subdivide it into eight pieces now. So I'll do perpendicular bisector. And I can use the uh, center of the circle as one of them. So that subdivides. And again, these markings are markings you would leave so that they show me your work. Now I have an octagon. So, right, I can connect those points. And I recognize at this point, too, if you can make this octagon, you can make uh, any of the eight pointed stars by connecting the points in a different order. So that's all that is. Yeah, a few basic ideas can create a great deal of complexity. So there's my octagon. Now I just um, I make an eight two star essentially. So if I were to connect these uh, boxes, I'm going to get the uh, all the lines that are necessary, and uh, all that all that happens is that some of these lines were erased um, in the final design. So if you uh, go ahead and erase, you know, sort of some of these lines, you'll get the uh, the effect in the image. That's all it is. Now the other one, <coughs> same idea. Oh, it's a six-pointed star, so that must be inside of a hexagon. So that hexagon, which is also inside of a circle, that's something that I can construct. Now, what about all these little lines? Well, you know, when I make that six-pointed star, I have to connect all of the lines. I won't know where to stop. So I'm just going to re-extend all those lines to see what, what turns up. Let's see. I think I put all of them. All right, so what about, all right, and then I have these lines here. Put those right across. So suppose, suppose at this uh, point I'm still not certain how to do this. That's okay. Uh, let's start. Let's see how far I can get. So make a circle, and then I subdivide the uh, circle into six pieces. Oops. That wasn't right. Yeah. Alright. So at this point, what do I have? Well, I have my hexagon. I don't need the hexagon. What I actually need is um, I need a star of David, a six-two star. So let's can I make the big six-two star first, and see what happens as I start working on it. Sometimes you just have to start doing, and see what comes out. All right. So now I have a, a star. Now, right. In the picture here, the star kind of extends outward, but that's also because it's a six-pointed star. How is this six-pointed star constructed? It's connecting um, opposite uh, uh, corners, if you will, of this star. So, okay, so you know, do something like, um, right, because there's a hexagon on the inside here. So it's another 6-2 star. Let's, uh, let's do that. 
And this is going to produce more lines than in the finished design. But that's okay. The finished design has erased the underlying structure. It's not there. All right. And then we have these lines going across. Those are those are easy to do. So if we just draw those lines through. <clears throat> now I have this sort of picture here. But, let's see. This actually has everything we need in it. Right? So, if you think about it, in the process of experimenting here, we've found everything that we need for the finished design. These uh, sort of kite shapes were constructed from two nested six-pointed stars. You can see it kind of unfolding here. And the thing is, you didn't even need to know all of the ideas to get going. Once you make the hexagon or the six subdivisions, then you can go ahead and make a star and make another star inside. <clears throat> and in the process, you might find that, oh, I guess I do have everything. And then you just er erase, you know, these extra pencil marks, and then that's the finished design. <clears throat> now, what about um, everything else? Um, there's a link for uh, videos on stars. Um, there's links for these. These underlines are linked, so if you only have the printout, um, look at the link on Blackboard, and you can you can click on these things. Same with these. Same with these. Uh, there's a link right here as well. So you know, it's um, er, er, all the rest of the stuff on this page um, is linked to. I think that's uh, that's it. So. There are all the resources. Um, again, if you can work in groups, that's fine. Again, don't don't underestimate the value of doing. I think quite typically with tests, we try to remember things or study flashcards or whatever. But this is the sort of thing where you have to be doing it to get better at it. Making designs of knots, creating constructions. Uh, if you're studying in a group, you could actually create some constructions. And then you know erase the lines away and see if other people can figure them out. That's a way that you can because it's it's the process. There's no flow chart to reverse engineering a design. It's a matter of uh, continuing some lines, filling in things you thought weren't there, making some educated guesses, and then trying it and seeing if it works. All right. So that's the last part of the key.